So here's the thing, Gojo Satoru doesn't block attacks. They just never reach him. It's not a shield, it's not a force field, it's math. Gojo's infinity is literally a 2,000-year-old paradox made real, and it's why he's untouchable. This all starts with Zeno's paradox, the ancient Greek thought experiment that says you can't actually reach your destination because there's always half the distance left to cross, half of what's left, then half of that, infinite steps, meaning theoretically, you never arrive. That's what Gojo weaponizes. When something moves toward him, his technique splits that distance infinitely. 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.11, 1 1.111, forever. You're not stopped by a wall, you're trapped in infinite division. Your attack is frozen in motion, never reaching zero distance. You don't hit him, you just approach forever. Now, here's what's insane. Calculating infinite distances for every atom, photon, and sound wave would normally fry your brain. That's where Six Eyes comes in. It's not about sight, it's computation. It constantly processes cursed energy on a quantum level, meaning Gojo isn't thinking about infinity, it just runs. He's the first person in 400 years to be born with both limitless and Six Eyes. Not coincidence, necessity. Without Six Eyes, Limitless would literally kill its user. So how do you defeat someone who made motion itself impossible? You don't punch through infinity, you delete the space it uses. That's exactly what Sukuna figured out. Infinity works within space. It manipulates the gap between two points. But Sukuna's Maharaga adaptation didn't target Gojo's body. It targeted the fabric infinity relies on, the very geometry of reality. He learned to cut space itself. It's like Gojo made an unbreakable firewall, but Sukuna hacked the operating system. He bypassed the math by erasing the coordinates infinity was trying to calculate. You can't calculate distance if the distance itself doesn't exist. That's why Gojo was sliced cleanly despite infinity being active. Sukuna didn't move through the gap, he deleted it. For the first time, infinity had nothing to process. No fractions, no subdivisions, just void. The ultimate paradox was finally countered by something even more broken, a technique that ignores space entirely. And that's why this wasn't a strength issue. It was conceptual warfare. Gojo's entire existence was built on the rules of math. Sukuna just stopped playing by them. So Gojo's infinity isn't some flashy magic barrier. It's math, ancient philosophy, physics, and cursed energy fused into one impossible equation. And Sukuna solved it by deleting the problem itself. He didn't beat Gojo's power. He beat the idea behind it. Did Gojo really lose, or did he just face someone whose domain existed beyond logic itself? And if you want me to break down how domains rewrite the laws of space, subscribe. That's the next one.